This is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com, and this is Task for the Weekend, January 9th, 2021. Today we're going to talk about a topic that came up in the forums, and it was a quite a hot topic, so I'm going to go through the process of how you uninstall Flash. Now, you, as most of you are aware in the news, as of December 31st, Flash is going to be going away. It's no longer going to be supported. Yay! And Microsoft will be pushing out an update to remove it later on this year. I'm not exactly sure when, but it'll be in the first quarter of 2021. For those of you that have gone to the Ask Woody forums, you'll know that this topic about how to make sure Flash Player is gone everywhere in Windows 19 or 9 and later has been a key hot topic. So I'm going to go through the process of how you know how to determine if it's removed from your system. Again, the patch will be pushed out soon, KB4577586. And you can do it now. You can manually download it, and I'll show you how to do it. You just double-click on that download, and you will uninstall Flash from your system. Adobe also has a tool on their site. So if you've installed um, Flash in a third-party process, um, you can go to Adobe and go and download their tool to double-check. Now, as um, forum user Amakri pointed out, you may need to manually delete any files in certain folders, and I'll show you where those folders are. But the KB article, uh, the KB patch should uninstall these, but we can go and double check. So first, we're going to check using a website um, for Adobe that tests to see whether or not Flash is enabled on your system. Um, and in particular, it's checking for the browser. So here in particular, this is a uh, new edge, and it's letting me know that Flash is either not installed or not enabled. The same is true for Chrome. Again, by clicking on that check now, it lets me know that while Flash Player is pre-installed, it's not enabled, so I'm in good shape there. Firefox is also in good shape because Flash is either not installed or not enabled. But we're not quite out of the woods yet, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to bring up, this is Internet Explorer. Yes, the, the really old Internet Explorer that's built into Windows 10. And when I go on Check Now on that site, it says Flash Player is, re is pre-installed with Internet Explorer in Windows 10 and updates automatically. So Flash is still on my system. So how do I get it out of my system? So again, Microsoft is going to be releasing KB4577586. And right now, it's a manual download. They will be coming out with this on Windows Update. But if you want it now, you can actually go to something called the Microsoft Update Catalog website and manually download it. And you go here, and this is a somewhat cumbersome looking website that us admins usually go to. And what you have to do is you have to find the version for your operating system. And that sometimes is a little bit confusing. So there's two things you're looking for. You're first looking for the version of the operating system. And then secondly, you want to know whether you're 32-bit or 64-bit. So how do you know both of those? Well, we go back to our dear friend of the Windows Start menu, go to S Settings, then you want to go to System, and then About. And when I get into the About here, there's two things I'm looking for. The first thing I'm looking for in that About tab down here, version 2004, so that tells me I'm on version 2004. And then I'm looking up here where it says System Type, and you see where it says 64 bit operating system x64 based processor. If I was on 32 bit processor, it would say 32 bit. The other clue that tells me 64 versus 32 is if I can support more RAM memory. So if you have a 32 bit operating system, it can only goes up to four gigabytes. If you have 64 bit, it goes over that. These days, I would say if you've got a 32 bit system, it is time to retire that guy because these days websites suck up more and more RAM memory. So if you haven't already gotten rid of your 32-bit systems, make sure you do it now. 
So anyway, so we know it's 64-bit and 2004. So now let's go back to the catalog site and see if we can find our version. So the first thing that's a little bit confusing is all of these lovely Windows 10 versions. And where's my 2004? So here, down here, there's one that says Windows 10 version 1903 and later. And you'd think, gee, that sounds like it should match my system, right? And so I'm going to pretend to download this. I'm going to actually download this and show you how it's not the right one. And it's okay if you install the wrong patch. And I'll show you what the system does. So when I go to this, I'm like I said, I'm going to pretend to download the wrong one. So I go over here where it says 64-bit and I click on download and up comes a website and I'm going to click on this hyperlink right here. And down comes a file called an MSU, Microsoft Software Updater File. It's, it's a specific type of file that's used in Windows Update. And once it says it's ready, I'm going to click on Open File. And the system comes back and says, hey, this update doesn't, doesn't work for your system. And you're going, hmm, how come? It's because, watch this wording, even though it says 1903 and later, it just means only 1903. And don't worry if you click on the wrong one, the system is smart enough to make sure and tell you, hey, this doesn't work. So if you get this message saying, this update is not applicable to your computer, it means one of two things. One, you've installed the update before, and if you know you've never been here before, you know that's not true. Or two, it doesn't apply to your system because it's the wrong version of the update. So let's go back to our screen here and say, hey, what's going on? Why isn't that the right version? Well, guess what? See up here where it says page one of two? There's a second page to this. We have to click next to get anything new. And there's our 2004 update hiding up for us. So again, now we need to look for 2004 and we need to look for X64. So there's our X64, there's our 2004. Everything else looks like it matches. And don't worry about, see this ARM64? That's a different operating system completely. That is not what you need. Even if you have an AMD chip or an Intel chip, both of those are called X64. So always look for X64. And see, even I'm getting a little confused here because that's server version. So I need to look for, where is my 2004? There is my 2004. Update from removal of Adobe Flash, Windows 10 version 2004, X64. Okay, I think we got the right one. Got it? 2004, X64. Okay, let's try it again. We're going to download this. Again, we're going to try it here. We're going to wait until it installs, or I should say opens up. It always checks to make sure the validity of the patch. And then when it's ready to go, it's going to say open file. We're going to click on it. And when you know it's the right one, it comes up with this window that says, hey, do you want to install the following Windows software update? Yes or no? That's a sign that you finally got the right one. So go ahead and click yes. And it takes a short amount of time and then it says restart now. We're not going to restart right away because I'm going to show you something else real fast. But that's it. That's all you needed to do. You don't have to right mouse click, you just literally keep click, 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 and just go ahead and install it. Now, if you were, you had uninstalled, or I should say, install Flash in a third party, let's say something told you to install Flash, there's an uninstaller for Flash Player. And you can go ahead to this website, I've got the link in the instructions. You want to download the Uninstaller for Flash. You want to click here to download it. And then you need to 
close all of the browsers. We're going to open the file. Now, once you've installed the update, you want to go into your operating system in the Users folder, and you want to go into your username, and then you want to look for a folder called App Data. Now, if you don't see this folder, there's a reason why. Microsoft always hides certain items, and it hides file names extensions. And this is two settings that I do on every single computer I ever, ever, ever touch, is I go into File Explorer here, click on View, make sure I've got file names extensions checked, and hidden items checked, and then I can see that app data. And we're gonna look underneath app data, and I'm gonna look in all three folders just to make sure that there's no Adobe folder there. None there, none there, and actually this is the one where it normally is down here in roaming. And you can see there's an Adobe folder, and there's no flash folder there. So our, our update has done what it was supposed to do. It pulled the files out of Adobe, so we're all set to go. And these are the folders they talk about. And in our system, we don't have that. Uh, so those folders are not in our system. And until next time, we've said goodbye to Flash. And have a great week. The newsletter will be out tomorrow. And Brian Livingston, Public Defender, is back. He's back on the case. And he'll be looking out for you and investigating any technical issues or questions you have, so make sure you look for his contact form and fill that out. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for Ask Woody.